The Bible teaches that Christ will save non-Christians. My name is Demian, and this is Growing Together. Matthew 25, 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father. Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick and in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. This verse isn't talking about me. I know Christ. I know the Bible. I know the New Testament. When I visit someone in prison, or when I feed someone, or when I lay my hands on someone to heal them, I know full well that I am doing it unto Christ as well. The ones who Christ is talking about in that verse clearly do not know the New Testament. In the documentary The Last Days by Steven Spielberg, Alice Lok Kahana, a Hungarian Holocaust survivor, speaks of a little girl who was a friend of hers in Auschwitz when she was there as well as a little girl. She tells us that her friend came to her with a potato, gave it to her and said, take this, I don't need it anymore. When Alice took the potato, she was confused. She couldn't understand at that time why her friend gave her something that was so crucial to their survival. She tells us that that very night, a Nazi guard came in and murdered her friend. We are not saved by works, and it's not the work of that little girl giving her friend a potato that saves her. Rather, it is the full realization of God and the Holy Spirit within you that implores you to do such a selfless and courageous act. That is what saves that little girl, and I imagine Alice as well, when she came to the full realization of why her friend did that. We as Christians need to stop assuming who's going to go to hell and who's going to go to heaven based on something as shallow as what we say with our lips, even though those words are the truth. The Jews of their time were herded away by church-going Christians to be slaughtered. Do you think that God was on the side of those Christians? If you do, you better read Matthew 7.22. Let me know what you think in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.